Hello, Begammon friends. Welcome to our Begammon live stream number 151. And today we have another special episode. We have two special guests. One I don't even have to mention, I think, because he was here so often, Markus Reinhardt, but one who is here for the first time, uh, Tobias Hellbach. And today we have this uh, special stream regarding the first Begammon festival in Aachen this uh, summer. So, hello Tobias, hello Markus, nice to have you hi, guys Rainer. here. Hello Rainer, hello, hi Tobias, nice to meet you both. Hi Markus. And yeah. uh, the, the main thing is here today, uh, Tobias Selvak will be the chief commentator for all the live streams during the first Begemmen Festival in Aachen. And today we, he will give us uh, a little preview about his uh, skills as a commentator, and uh, we will have a friendly match between Markus uh, Reinhardt and Thorsten Lux, so two German grandmasters, and Tobias uh, will comment on this match later on. But I think first uh, Markus wants to say if just a few words regarding the Begemmen Festival. Uh, we had a stream in German, and this is the first promotion stream in English language, so Markus Go on. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thanks, Rainer, for your starting uh, point. Uh, yeah, hello together, and thanks for watching. Um, I want to say some things in general. This is not the not the last streaming about our festival. There will be coming some other where we will uh, promote our event in the summer. I think uh, all the links are in the description. And today, this streaming stage is more for Tobias and for Rainer. Uh, we are really proud to presentation Tobias as our head commentator, and we will give you only a taste today, um, especially for uh, for our spectators, because I think streaming today is really important, especially for backgammon festivals and um, our event in Germany. We need some VIPs like Toby and Dirk Schiemann is also one of our commentators. So, and uh, I hope it's enjoyable. Um, I have two things I want to say in um, uh, in shortly because there is not so much time and I have to go to uh, to play my match. We got a lot of messages via email and people ask uh, us about um, uh, something like a newbie tournament or a beginner tournament. And uh, today we can say we have uh, some people who are promote us and are help. And if there is interesting on that side, everybody who is a beginner, uh, there will be a program yeah, to play at our tournament. There is a special, some special stuff. And um, the other question is, people ask us, did we need really six days to join this event? Yeah. And uh, what I can say is, there are so different programs. Nobody has to stay six days. You can play the individual tournament. You can you can come some days later and play only our highlight, the World Championship, um, together with WBGF and WBF. So three or four days can can be enough. Um, so it's um, yeah. So you don't have to burn so much time. These are the two points I want to say. And one point is we starting. An online project you can play a qualifier tournament it's on webif um i think later it's also in the description and now you can enjoy the show yeah and thanks to bs for joining us um we are really happy and um now it's your time okay so marcus you will leave us for now and yeah, uh, prepare for your match will which will start in around uh, 10 or 11 minutes yeah, okay. And Enjoy. Tobias Bye. and I will have a short interview. Okay, good luck and good match. Okay, Tobias, nice to have you here. Uh, we have not really met before. Um, yeah, you have won several tournaments uh, in a row recently. How was that? And what is your secret? What, what are you doing that you are so successful? <laughs> well, um... I'm playing. Uh, I'm playing tournaments for like 25 years, uh, so um, it's not like a winning. I win all the tournaments. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's just accumulated a little bit lately, and 
uh, first part of the question, of course, it's great to play a tournament to the end. You know, you uh, mm. you go somewhere to compete, so uh, you want to play all possible matches and all possible opponents. And uh, uh, it's a very nice feeling, you know, to uh, to complete a tournament. Yeah. So, so you play a lot, you said. Do you also practice a lot, or is, is playing your practice mainly? Uh, it depends, of course, a little bit. Uh, I mean, like, uh, it feels like the last six weeks I played six tournaments. Two of them were local, and uh, others, um, for others, I had to, uh, to do a lot of traveling and uh, um, jet lag and whatever. And, of course, uh, in such a schedule, it's really difficult uh, uh, to put a good training uh, uh, in it. Mm. So at that time, it's, it's similar probably to football. Like when you have all three days a match, you know, you, uh, I mean, you can't work out uh, on the muscle base or whatever, you know, <laughs> you have to adjust the training differently. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I, had a, I had a really good training uh, before Monte Carlo. Um, where I did also good last year. I won uh, the consolation of the Monte Carlo Open. And uh, I also had a, a really good training uh, before Dubai. And this training, uh, I, found a, I found a really strong player, um, a really good training partner, uh, Tilman Sönchen. Many of, uh, of you know him. Mm -hmm. um, we played live and we recorded it. And uh, before um, the World Championship, it were like uh, two 17-point matches a day. And uh, afterwards, I put it in, and uh, all together, it was like uh, maybe six, eight hours of work every day. And um, this makes it easier to handle that amount of decisions, yeah, and mm -hmm. uh, feel more comfortable after a long day. And uh, before Dubai, uh, we extended the program because also Dubai had special circumstances. Uh, the time bank is shortened to. Um, uh, to 10 minutes for a, a nine point match. So usually it's eight minutes more. Oh, no, it's, I think it's, it was a 12 or 14. Anyway, we shortened it even more uh, just to make sure there's no time trouble. Uh, so we played four nine point matches with uh, 10 minutes time bank. And afterwards, inputting two matches each. Um, that was really a very tough training, but it, uh, it helped me over this tournament. It was very intense, and um, um, it was not a really good performance uh, from my side on on the winning base. But uh, the stamina, the endurance, you know, that uh, there, these uh, this training really helped me. And when you analyze the matches afterwards, any any special methods, or just like everyone, or almost everyone, going through the errors, or do you have any tips for? So uh, for me personally, players. sorry, <laughs> I, I didn't want to break your word. No, no. Um, so uh, when I input a match, um, it takes as long as playing it because uh, I go through every to all the decision processes. Um, I look at all the plays closely, and uh, if something wrong, I, I want to figure out why. It's not like uh, I put it in and then I look over the match. I look over the match while I put it in, you know, mm -hmm. and after, uh, afterwards, um, uh, I should have some, uh, some enlightenment or at least, uh, uh, some idea what went wrong. And, uh, also sometimes I, I perceive these, uh, so-called mistakes, which are, uh, by fact, only equity losses, you know, it's not like they force you, they don't force you to lose. They just lose you a little bit of equity. Uh, I perceive them as treasures. And um, of course, it also takes a lot of energy to uh, uh, to lift a treasure. But um, I'm happy, you know, I'm, I'm happy to see these things because mm -hmm. sometimes you have these uh, simple matches and uh, you just, they, they give you no, in, no new insights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... Um, it can be nice. You 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 uh, go to bed with a good feeling. You know, I knew everything, but <laughs> it really doesn't help you for the future. You know, uh, yeah. the mistakes, uh, the so-called mistakes, the equity losses. This is what helps you for the future. Yeah. 
And you also maintain some kind of uh, Blunder database, or is it just analyzing and then the next match, or do you also repeat in, in some way? Or uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes if uh, I really like a position, I take a picture and then I go to the, uh, through these pictures. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, actually, I try to keep as much in my mind as possible, uh, and don't like to rely on uh, uh, on safe data. I'm a little bit uh, uh, clumsy with all this uh, IT stuff and uh, with looking up. Uh, I, I kind of uh, uh, like to uh, memorize these things like as a happening, as a story. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, so um, uh, very often I don't go through and through these things. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. So now regarding this uh, uh, festival in Aachen, so Markus uh, convinced you to do the, the, the commentating. How, how did this happen and uh, what do you think about this, this tournament? Is it a special special thing for, for you or you have done a lot of commentating? I saw you on the internet and uh, yeah, what do you think about this event and how, how was the way to How, how was the journey to there? How did Markus convince you or um, did he have to convince you? <laughs> um, well, first of all, I'm a player, not a commentator. Mm -hmm. yeah? I, I perceive myself as an active sport. Um, but on the other hand, um, I, I owe this game and I think I can contribute. And um, I have certain ideas, and sometimes uh, I think maybe uh, these ideas would uh, uh, would help. Yeah, mm. and um, it came up from Marcus um, at uh, this uh, um, Cyprus Merit Open uh, last year, where he introduced me to the project and, uh, and told me about it, and some of his ideas. Um, First of all, um, uh, I think he also, uh, there's, there's one common part he also wants to contribute. He uh, also feels like uh, he owes the game, he loves the game, uh, he wants to contribute. And if you want to change something, um, uh, the best way is, uh, in my opinion, um, not to criticize other people, yeah, mm. uh, but just to give a different sample. Yeah. yeah, and um, uh, he wants to build up something. Um, I do have I do have my own ideas, uh, but uh, I think uh, he wants he wants the right things. And um, um, I actually um, I was actually happy he was asking me. Yeah, mm, that's good. So you we can enjoy six days of commentating. That will be a, a rough job. Six days. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. I, I hope I can do it. You know, yeah, I, I'm sure I you can. Everything <laughs> goes uh, goes well. Yeah. Uh, another thing I wanted you to ask: uh, uh, there was this private UPC uh, challenge in in Berlin between um, Mario Kühl and uh, Markus Reinhardt. Uh, you were so kind to to add some uh, f photos to, to the post on my Facebook page. And yeah, maybe just a few words regarding this event. What do you think about events like that? Um, is this the future or what are your thoughts or what was happening there on site? Well, uh, um, the first thing, um, it had a crispy atmosphere. Um, uh, to first, uh, to say the, the challengers, uh, same as me, uh, we all have a backgammon history going back like 30 years. Yeah. And 30 years ago, um, duels, yeah involving uh, uh ego yeah were a very common thing mm. and um this kind of uh, uh of challenge um i mean um um marcus is not so well featured uh, before the last uh, three or four years yeah mm. and um he, he was a I don't want to say extroverted guy, but uh, I mean uh, he's a he is very emotional, and uh, some people mostly saw this. You know, uh, I mean emotions are great, and uh, a lot of people love him for that. Yeah, but others also perceive it as a weakness, and um, 
I think this challenge came up in Monte Carlo and um, um, I was really curious to see it. And <laughs> I actually had the strong belief that uh, that Marcus would do very well. And uh, I was also happy that he uh, that he did. Uh, I mean, uh, first of all, he. Uh, he went to a different city in a different scenery. Um, uh, it's it's always a difference mm. if you have a home game, yeah. um, or if you're playing on another court. <laughs> and um, both took it very very serious. Uh, of, of course, there's no there's no real title involved or anything, mm. but they uh, both took it serious. They played for uh, some stakes. It made uh, it made sense for the winner, I'm sure. Yeah, I don't know mm -hmm. all the details, um, but it was a very crispy uh, atmosphere. Everybody was very intense, very focused. Uh, the Kibitzers uh, um, we were always like uh, around ten spectators. <laughs> so it was a it was a real fun event. It was uh, uh, fun to attend it live. Could you imagine to play something like that yourself, or is it so this combination of PR and and, and match wins that count? Um, I like this concept somehow because um, uh, what UBC does different to uh, BMAB is um, uh, it gives you the possibility if the uh, position allows it uh, uh, to uh, uh, maybe lure your opponent. Uh, on a uh, special uh, on some special positions where you might mistakes but he might make worse mistakes yeah, yeah? and this is uh, a, a good idea of the competition especially yeah? heads so, up uh, no it's very interesting when you play heads up not in a tournament where the average counts when you exactly just... <laughs> exactly not the average counts but uh, like every single match of course yeah. often also people get con completely different contests. I mean, uh, I, I know a zillion matches where one side gets uh, is almost every move is forced and the other uh, has a head banger. You know, every every decision is like, uh, <laughs> you know, a knife to the throat and um, <laughs> really difficult and really hard. Uh, but often it's uh, it's also in a way that uh, the uh, both are um, uh, uh, both have different uh, uh, positions, mm -hmm. uh, uh, different, um, know, same positions and uh, uh, same challenges. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I, I like this. Uh, I like this idea. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. I can imagine. I can imagine. Back to your question. I can imagine it for myself as well. Yeah. But uh, I would uh, need to sacrifice uh, more time uh, for training. Mm -hmm. It's a different thing, yeah. Okay, I think it's about time for the match. Um, I think you you probably know both players, Torsten Lux and and Markus. Uh, what do you think? Who is the favorite, or what do you expect from this match? Ah, that's very hard to say in uh, in such a, a short match. Uh, for sure, I know Markus better. Uh, I met uh, Torsten like three times. I, I watched uh, two of his uh, matches uh, just before uh, online on uh, uh, Begemmen News, a great source for live played matches and. Um, um, I always like to get a feel a little bit, you know, for the uh, for the player. Um, both are like G three level, which is uh, to me this BMAB thing is like a driving license, you know. It uh, doesn't really uh, uh, say how you do in the in the traffic, but uh, they are both able, you know, to uh, to play at a certain level. Yeah, G three is pretty good. I think it's yeah, like two uh, percent of the. Yeah, Marcus even Marcus... got G two. Huh? All right, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, he has the higher license. So he overtook uh, he his has... teacher. He has the higher license, and um, so probably this makes him uh, makes him like a favorite. Uh, Maybe. You but Torsten is super strong as well, I think. Yeah. So I guess uh, Torsten is one of the the reasons why Marcus became so good the last few years because Marcus took a. Uh, 
quite a few lessons from from Torsten. So, isn't it you? No, no, <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not that good. No. Okay, so now I think we will we will skip to the to the match. You should see the board now. Mm -hmm. uh, any preferences? Should we leave Markus on bottom and and uh, Torsten on top? If that's fine for you. Uh, it's all fine. Usually I, I'm used to watch uh, live boards. I, uh, yeah. So this is strange I, anyway. I never record. <laughs> I never I never commented on a uh, on an online match. Uh, but uh, it should be all fine. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I think Marcus uh, watched the stream and he should know that we are ready. And I guess he will make his move very soon. Here we go. Okay, 6 3. This is a standard known opening. Yeah. <clears throat> That's a standard known reply. If uh, he would hit with a six, uh, he would incline to split uh, with the back checkers. But as he hit with the ace, he uh, prefers to come down. Yeah. For one, yeah, like uh, two down is usually a slot. It's um, it's always a temptation, you know, to uh, if you see such a match, uh, to uh, to just uh, show your own knowledge. And I try to avoid it. Um, it should commentary should be about the decisions of the players. Yeah. So uh, I tame myself and uh, put a little bit back. If you have, uh, if you have like certain questions or input, uh, I appreciate. But uh, as long as they're just playing, you know, I um, I would watch. So now it's a little bit interesting. This is a double. Uh, so uh, with all the doubles, uh, you have to like you have to have to execute like uh, four decisions instead of two. So yep. there's more room for mistakes. Absolutely. And he chooses a bold play as he is down in the match and uh, needs to improve. And Torsten is thinking about doubling. Uh, or if he could, should first save the... I don't no. think he was... Uh, he was not. Uh, I don't think, you know, um, I watched him a little bit playing live and I saw that he really likes to shake his dice. So I think uh, it's not always about doubling. It's just to get more perception about the position ah. in general, you know, mm -hmm. also to digest the decision of your opponent. Yeah. Oh, well, well, well. There is a lot of room for decisions here. <laughs> it's not just another double, but it's also a, a real big decision what kind of points you want to have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The I mean the bar. Um, it's a, like a contradiction. You're torn between. Uh, uh, maximizing the contract uh, contact and keeping something back but um, the bar is a very essential point because it uh, it blocks sixes uh, from the big stack yeah but and giving this up is one of the keys in the game yeah giving up the inner board control maybe was went so far down in the head in the race yeah it's not like inner board control i mean he has a blot there the blot also can be a victim any time yeah so one thing we have a pip count here that's a that's a good information it's always helpful for the players it's also very helpful for the commentator yeah sure uh i was wondering about this uh, uh two one um down so much in the race um If there's maybe a slot involved, but uh, he took a decision, and usually it's right to make a point when you can make a point. 
points are very often underestimated. They have like so many multiple purposes and uh, they define the decision, uh, they define the position and the position is what wins the game. Yeah. So now there's cube action. Now yeah. there's cube action. It's like uh, he's holding from two points. Yeah. And um, Marcos on his side is not prepared yet, but so one of the main questions is like, if you do this cube action, what do you do like with 5-2? Uh, Are you volunteering with 5-2? Hmm. So this is one of the questions you should ask yourself uh, uh, when you when you turn the cube here. Uh, but uh, with having extra contact, with having counterplay for Marcus, um, uh, it looks like uh, I agree with his uh, decision. I don't have to agree with his decision, but uh, <laughs> I think it's uh, it was a good one. 6-2. So it's a shot anyhow, right? He can't play it safe. So now is the question uh, where and how. And uh, he shouldn't harm the structure. He needs to bring the checkers home. He should leave from the rear, clear from the rear. Yeah. Computer didn't like it, but. Oh, you didn't like it? <laughs> no, unfortunately. Interesting. Not. No? What, no? What would have been your play? You wanted to play five to three? I don't know what I played. I just saw what computer did not like it. Uh, I think it was pretty natural to to play from the rear, but. Ah, I didn't uh, really consider the alternatives. Uh, I just thought uh, it's either, you know, giving up the eight point, which leaves uh, also a double shot okay. or uh, going uh, five go to back three. And then... Yeah, it was well, we shouldn't do this because it's a live thing, you know. I mean, we should. Uh, um, I think we shouldn't switch within the match. This is ah. something for the end, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Let me go so, back. are we live yeah. again? Yes. Are no, we, we are live. Yeah. Okay. 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 See, it's not a theoretical uh, riddle, you know, it's like, a, it's a live thing. I mean, it's an exhibition match, but it should like, uh, uh, we should treat it like it, mm. uh, it was like a tournament, uh, a tournament match. Mm. So this is unfortunate. He had a double shot, he had a single shot. Uh, he missed them both. On the other hand, of course, he was a underdog when he took it. So why shouldn't he just lose it? <laughs> so. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, we're most likely looking at a, a seven away, five away score. Yeah. Which is a, which is an interesting score. Um, see, uh, there's not much contact left in this game, uh, so maybe uh, let's let's have a look into the future a little bit. Um, like how to handle the next score? What is the game strategy? What is the, uh, uh, the well, what's a, what's the doubling strategy? The cube strategy for that score, uh, which is coming up. Um, uh, whenever there's Eureka potential, yeah, um, the seven away score. Um, can take way deeper, especially when there are active gamers on both mm -hmm. sides and uh, very trigger happy when uh, um, he took and uh, he can send a recube. Like many blitz positions uh, are not, uh, are no doubles for the leader. And um, even in an advanced blitz, there often still takes for the trailer. This is interesting about the score, uh, seven away, five away. And this is what we are going to see now. Yeah. Or two. 
pretty strong. White still a favorite. Not only in the match because of the score, but also in this position. So, uh, most effective uh, for Marcus is to win uh, uh, four four points, double mm -hmm. gammon. So, inner board points help him to this mission. Yeah. And um, it's never wrong to set up a position as long as this is legal. And I, uh, I think he made a good choice here. And for Thorsten, it's very important to gain one point to get four, to get to four away. Right, because it's a hitting distance. Uh, very good, exactly. Yeah, this is always you played, you play for a podium at the beginning of a seven-point match. You know, the podium is like being four away or three away to get in hitting distance. Like a double cannon always finishes you the match. Yeah. So, Marcus is looking at the position. Mm, at the score, not the timing. Will it be enough? Uh, well, I, sometimes, you know, you also look at the position not just because you want to double, but you look at the position because you want to figure out when are you going to double, you know, what, um, what kind of... I mean, you have every... Um, uh, every, every decision, every time... Uh, um, you are on uh, on roll you have like these 12 seconds delay so uh, you don't need to start thinking you know when it is already a double you can just think generally about a position you know and about the uh, uh, development which is ahead hmm. so double four is like a super joker a super joker and i think he will continue pretty sure yeah. I looked a little bit at uh, at uh, Thorsten's game and my feel is like uh, he usually is a very quick player. He usually uh, doesn't spend a lot of time and I like to see him thinking because then I see uh, that he takes even this exhibition match very, very serious. I'm sure it's he takes it serious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good for all the watchers, that's good for yeah. us. <clears throat> So, not much room here. Hmm. Um, he needs still improvement. Yeah. He needs still improvement. There's no, no real game in danger to play both down. Um, this is hard. This is uh, very hard for him to put a second Dilly builder on the three uh, to improve his position from here. Also, uh, Marcus uh, has uh, slotted his five, uh, which yeah. he can't cover when he hits. And he wants to get to a doubling position. No? And with this Dilly Builder, it's, exactly, it's hard to imagine exactly. a, a right. double yeah. zone. Yeah, you have to work for it. You yeah. have to work for it. If you haven't, uh, if you haven't already uh, lost your market, <laughs> you need to, you need for to work for a position. Yeah. Well, at some, there are some scores where you just uh, grind the match down and uh, wait for a slow development, but... Uh, I think we see a double we now. Um, let's see. Quite First of all, Volatility, well, the, the pip count is like... White is uh, eight pips. Eight pips, ahead, yes. so uh, as we as we were talking before, it's like a, a five away, seven away, yeah. 
So, uh, and uh, you mentioned like uh, he is happy also if he gets a point. He doesn't necessarily, there's not so much uh, extra for him if he gets two points instead of one. So, but maybe he already gets it. I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> I, uh, and as we see, also Torsten doesn't think like that. Yeah. Yeah. Then we know I who mean, was wrong. Uh, he's he's in the race. Red has a stronger board. Uh, Black has a stronger board. Um, Black is still in the race. Uh, uh, there are shots to hit. There's a position to clear. There's just too much to do for that score mm. to double now. Yeah. Uh, and one thing for sure, also, I mean, uh, there's a score uh, which makes every position a double. Yeah. That's just not the score. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, why would you leave him the ace? Why would you leave him the ace? You know, how do you benefit to be on the bar? Oh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> interesting. Well, this is for sure. This is for sure <laughs> not what he's going to do to make the two point. For sure he doesn't make the two point. Yeah, so this is what happens uh, when you leave plots around. <laughs> and this is uh, this can happen, you know, when you have a strong board, you know. Now it looks like all genius and good, but uh, I'm really interested in the analysis. It worked out as Marcus wished, and of course, this is a pass. Hmm. But it never harms you to think about it. Yeah. 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 Never harms you to think about it. Yeah. So uh, Marcus is not really trapped. Uh, like uh, threes, fours, fives, and sixes get him out. Yeah, and on the other side he can slot the six prime, and uh, that makes it just a pass. Yeah. We got a new score and a new position. Yo. Yeah, this is. Uh... In standard match scores, this looks like the right play. Or it looks like the standard answer. For three, really good number. Marcus is more and more on the driving seat. Mm -hmm. If he can manage to, uh, to hit Torsten with a point, that would be the thing, yeah. But before he does it, but at least he needs an board point. Yeah, but he's getting ready already. I think he knows he's he needs... getting ready already. Right? <laughs> he needs what one nice more term. thing. <laughs> <laughs> right, he's getting ready already. <laughs> he thinks about one, it. Yeah, one more good one thing. One of the yeah. What are you? Uh, sorry, I don't want to interrupt no, you. No. So one thing about Markus, uh, he has a very good thing. In, in Germany, we would say like uh, Spielgefühl. Yeah. Yeah? Like uh, he has a very good uh, anticipation for the movement of the game. Yeah? yeah, absolutely. Some people, they see the position, you know, and they they uh, they look at the position like it used to be. It was a photo finish, you know, like uh, they see all these details and build statistics, you know. Mm. But he's thinking, you know, what's the organic, you know, what's what's happening yeah. next move, you know. And you see and, this uh, especially when you have weird positions, how often he's right, where a player like me, for example, is just guessing because he has never seen a thing like that. And then and he, that's what well, makes he's it... He's a child of his time, you know? I mean, mm. uh, I'm the same, like 20 years ago. Uh, like all these standard positions people take care of now, we would just say, well, you know, there's a couple of good moves here. You know, now, now we know there's... There's one great move and there's a couple of other moves where you lose two, three, four, five percent. Yeah. And we mm. don't like that anymore. And this is um, what what makes it PR nowadays. Yeah. But in the past, you know, people were not focused on these two, three percent. You know, they wanted to figure out the really, really tough positions. Yeah. Mm. The excitement, you know, they thought the other uh, dismiss it, you know, oh. <laughs> it's just a random position. Dismiss it. Yeah. But the random decisions they uh, they make, you know, the amount of um, 
of mistakes. They usually form your PR. Yeah. But uh, see, as a, as a child from the past, he is very, uh, he's doing very well with these exotic positions because uh, this was a competition of the past, you know? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. To shine where it's hard for everybody. This is what everybody wanted. Yeah. So back to the game. It's not the five he wanted. So uh, <laughs> it's not the world. He can make this point is not a bad point. Yeah, but what to do with the ace is a question. Yeah. So and since we don't have a good ace, uh, a lot of po uh, arguments lead to uh, to this uh, hit and put the second check in the air. So he failed. Now he goes for it. Uh, the eight point makes much more sense for White uh, with the uh, with the blot on the. Uh, with Black's, Black's blot on the 23. Now the game changed completely within a short sequence. I mm. mean, uh, White was blitzing, now he has like three men on the roof. Yeah. And the people, they, uh, players don't take a lot of time to uh, think about the cube action. Well, with three checkers on the roof, it's most likely uh, a pass. But is it really too good is the question when you... It's already doubled. I, oh, oh, oh. I missed it as well. Yeah, now uh, they were really in the game where <laughs> we were lost in conversation. So, oh, and look at this. What a swing. Yeah, certainly. This is uh, the last four. The last four. You free a checker, you hit one, you. Put more pressure on the blot on the 15 if you hit there. You're safer. Start the right dynamics and now 5 2. Isn't really brilliant. Ah, he's. Mm. How to handle this role? How to handle this role? What are the alternatives to the double hit? There's no safe way to play it. So this is probably the least shots he's giving. Mm. Plus he wins time to hit the other plot on the in the outfield. This is certainly oh. many more hits. It's like uh, 14 threes plus a, uh, plus a couple of uh, no extra nines, but four more uh, sevens. So half the field was hitting if he would have done it, but he was hitting anyhow. White is in trouble again. White is in trouble again. Wow, very big to get the second anchor. Very big to get the second anchor. And now, even if the if the guy on the eight gets hit, there's a lot of time to enter with both. And we will see many, many exciting decisions here. Straight in. Okay. You can't leave the anchor. You probably don't go out. So uh, that's a choice. Leaving 60 numbers and getting hit. 1 4, lucky return. Very lucky re return. <laughs> Ending up on the bar again. And now we see White ending up with some so-called overtiming. Yeah, he oh. gets more timing when he needs because he still wants to build points, and he has no time for that. Yeah, he really wants to enter soon. The ace was not clear, but a good distribution is always worth something. So now reducing 14 to 11 shots or doing this, I probably would have reduced because of the overtiming. Yeah. 
But all that is history. We hm. see a completely new decision. 6-2. So usually you want to hit a single checker, but here you just don't have the timing to close all your points because so much is uh, is in the back. So you prefer to block if hm. it's possible. Ah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. He's thinking about yeah, all the, the problem is the four after blocking. Huh? Four is not so oh. nice to advance. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. He um... well, if he if he hits, he leaves like uh, I think like only four shots. But just entering makes it. Um... I mean, you need time to reactivate at least the guy on the 24. I tend to block, but also you can block, you know, like uh, get lucky, the opponent dances, you know, then bring somebody around. There are different ways you have to figure them out. You have to adjust with your experience. Mm. Uh, my impression is like this would be like uh, uh, my play. Yeah. And in live play, you could play. try just to play the six. <laughs> well, <laughs> there, there have been something. There was a. There used to be a quiz from uh, Kent Goulding a long time ago, uh, where he uh, he asked about a move and then like he gave like this bonus answer and he says uh, just play half the move because it will leave you in a hmm. way better position. Uh, and then it happened actually at a live tournament um, where um, uh, where. Um, Harald Johani played uh, Michael Svobodny in uh, in a very big jackpot in uh, Istanbul. It was for really high stakes, and uh, uh, he just did the same for the curiosity. And uh, then they did a um, very harsh ruling against him. There was more <laughs> to the story. I don't. Uh, um, it was uh, Harald has a funny way to. Uh, uh, to telling you to tell the story and uh, maybe you get him to the microphone uh, one day yeah uh -huh. you should he's a legion and uh, maybe he will tell the story so it's, it's a very funny entertaining story so he did the play i predicted and now we have a completely different position yeah uh -huh. he got really rewarded by uh, uh, bad sequences uh, from from marcus marcus rolled all the fours in the world and um, now is in certain danger to leave another blot. So that doesn't change Marco's position too much. He still needs a five. This is another very, very bad sequence for Marcus. So, what about the cube here? When will you turn the cube here? And why would you? <laughs> what about the gamins? Many, many questions. Many, many questions. So, right now, it doesn't look like any side is losing gamins. And... Um, what about being favorite? It feels like uh, white, white is uh, about to be favorite here. Of course, there's like uh, one killing number, which is double six. Not anymore after the slot to the to the ace. But uh, still, this is what he wants. Yeah, but I think white's prime looks stronger than it is because this. Uh... Structural issue with yeah, the nine there's, point and the uh, three. There's very little potential to make uh, the the eight and the five. He still yeah. needs to fill two points, and uh, there was no potential to roll before. So yeah. uh, because of the lead in the score, because of no gamins, and because of the 
because of not too many market losers, um, it was for sure right not to not to redouble. Very good decision by by Thorsten, and we can see that uh, he's thinking about all this. We can tell because usually he's a very fast player, and he knows that uh, every move is very crucial, and every moves uh, every roll changes the position dramatically. The 11 yeah. point is an extremely valuable point, yeah. But also the 14, because like this is a 12 away distance, yeah. Uh, so again, I mean, now he has a couple of, well, he is still not that many for the eight and also not that many for the five. So even though two sequences went away, still not so much changed. 3-5, a quadruple shot, 6-2 misses, double two hits, double two is fantastic actually for Torsten. No. Hitting and closing, yeah, and uh, this looks just like a pass. Being up so many uh, uh, so many pips, but uh, it really doesn't matter because uh, he's not in the race. You have many pips and you're not in the race, um, makes it hard to win. You just lead in the wrong competition. <laughs> so three away, six away. Yeah, another another great score. All these scores are special, and there's so much to say about it. But also. We have a high dynamic game and a lot is going on and let's not miss it now what we missed before the cube action <laughs> of the players yeah this is like a standard method you have a holding game and now you start your board but we have a good excuse that we missed the cube action tobias because it was at least according to gnu it was wrong <laughs> okay <laughs> so okay. we didn't see yeah. it yeah <laughs> Oh, well, um, this wrong is, uh, I mean, um, GNU or Snowy or uh, Extreme, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, this is just a tool because uh, they treat every position like it's played perfectly on both sides, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, especially players like Marcus, they also know what makes pressure, you know, what is the human perception yeah what is the human perception of the position yeah? yeah and this is very helpful in a competition in a competition you never play against the computer yeah you play against others and you need to know their perception yeah and uh, of course a couple of people lie in their own pocket and they say well the opponent they could pass yeah but uh, there's only a handful of people who really have a clue you know what is you know really passed what kind of positions you know some people just don't know. Marcus has usually uh, a good feeling, a natural good feeling for pressure. Yeah. So? So, this uh, looks like another easy game. Yeah. This is 18 pips, yeah. 18 pips is a like two away. really big lead. Yeah, and that was very fast. Two away, six away. Yeah. So at two away, six away, the black side can double when they uh, when black has like 55% uh, winning chances and like 17% gammons. So this could be a very quick uh, double. Unfortunately, uh, black doesn't even have 50% here. <laughs> so. Uh, and the gammon chances and... are the wrong way around. <laughs> Yeah, the wrong way around, you can't say this, because it's exactly what White wants, an undoubled gammon at that score, yeah? yeah. And uh, as long as this is in reach, there's no reason to reach out for the cube, yeah. There's so much great impact in these seven-point matches, uh, and I'm... Uh, and I'm happy they get played more and more yeah there is no normal five, score yeah five one 
So what we saw in the past of Torsten, he is uh, strongly thinking uh, to double hit. And it's certainly a candidate, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like um, everything is active, but it's not too loose. Yeah, I can see this. It's the least shots, but now there's the anchor. Now there's the anchor. It's an interesting decision. There were many plays possible. Very interesting decision here. Four, three. Two down or slot um, are the candidates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what white wants. Yeah. This well, is what black wants. listening to your game plan. Just win a undoubled gammon. Hmm? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> and if you don't have the plan, it won't happen to you, yeah. you know, or it will happen lesser than it should. Yeah, you yeah. need, uh, if you don't uh, face a target, you know, if you don't have the right things in mind, yeah, uh, you're less likely to accomplish them. Yeah. So uh, for the for the interest of the spectators, uh, let's root for a second anchor, but there's not much time left. There's not much time left. And again, we have like a, a overtiming position here. So even if he gets a hit, he will stay a, a big underdog. Yeah, Marcus, because oh, of oh, uh, what happened. Well, what happened? He's uh, <laughs> solving a point. He's solving a point. Double five would Double be the five. only shot now. Yeah. He's uh, he's clearing the five point, and only double five from the bar would hit uh, the guy on the 17 for black. Six three, still good. Double one. Yeah. Don't see why you want to leave immediate shots, even though they are indirect. Yeah. Five one. This is a. Uh, Coming to the showdown now. Hmm. Can he roll a five and give us more excitement? No, he rolls a six two. All right. This is number thirteen here. <laughs> there's a there's a three two and a six two. They are fifteen hitting numbers. And this, how much does this add? This is adding like five one, five three, and double three, but gets a second check off. I don't think that's significant, you know, having one or two checkers off. So mm -hmm. now the containment fun. Oh, yeah. Uh, very often it's like uh, a white hits one of black checkers, and uh, then there's a miss of. Uh, of black and this is this can end the game but let's hope that there are more decisions yeah well uh, you don't like to get hit but it's only a three point board and you need uh, you need builders this last ace i doubt it i doubt it but i also see I also see that you can feel the danger here of getting hit and dancing on this board. But in this position, saving the game is not the target. In this position, you still want to win. Okay, where things happened. Where things happened for black, got hit. Doesn't re-hit, but there's still contact. So now making either the 17 or the 18. Mm. Ah... Probably uh, some things lead towards the decision of the 17 because um, like uh, you wouldn't be put on the bar with a six, like is six three worse. Now going through all these numbers, I mean, they have still a lot of, especially Marcus, he has like eight minutes. Yeah. 
now you can really go through all the numbers uh, seeing uh what hits what misses what maximizes the contact yeah so uh, a five or a four is the same number of hits but okay this is the end this is the end this is time for a handshake yeah this is time for a handshake we had a couple of interesting decisions and uh, i think we also had an exciting match here absolutely yeah yeah looking forward to the analyzing they can't do a handshake online or what's going on <laughs> they usually in, in online began they don't resign it's rare that you see all the platforms have the feature resign but almost nobody anybody yeah. uh, uses it i don't know why um well, well sometimes it's uh, it's easier to play it out or maybe they have auto play but yeah. Uh, yeah okay so lucky looks got lucky again huh? yes yeah. he <laughs> chose his nickname wisely <laughs> Just import the match, and I guess the players will join us soon. Thorsten is highly motivated, is already in the waiting room. Oh, there's a waiting room. Yes, not 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 anybody can here enter here. Hi Thorsten, congratulations for the very well played match and for winning it. Hi, everybody. So, so Markus is fun. also coming. It's fun for you, a big show. Yes. Not because okay. of you guys, because of us. We, we sell it, celebrated ourselves. So. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it was a very exciting match, I think. And... Hi again. Hi, Markus. He damaged me. Uh, he damaged me a little bit, I think. Uh, yeah. yeah. So from my side, also congratulations to you, Thorsten. Yeah. Thank you. Congrats, my friend. Yeah, or not? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Congrats or not? Or <laughs> <laughs> I lost maybe. So. <laughs> Yeah, food. well, I, I think the whole purpose uh, uh, was, you know, to uh, to see how the broadcast will be. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. you both helped us for this mission. And uh, so uh, I think winning was really, uh, I don't know. Did you have a bet on that? or uh, No, 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 no. Any... Maybe a coffee, uh, but not Ma more. Maybe a coffee, maybe, maybe a... congrats, maybe a coffee, all yeah. of Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> it's always serious matches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So is there a coffee maybe for the loser? Uh, yeah, it could be. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. The main, uh, the main topic is uh, the containment, uh, wasn't it? Yeah, that was. Uh, there were interesting questions. There were certainly inter there were interesting questions about the cube action. There were interesting questions about the containment. Uh, sometimes. Um, uh, uh like it is you know sometimes uh, the game uh, gets on speed while we are still at a position and <laughs> so we are losing things and um sure. Reiner at one time had the, had the uh, had the great idea to to stop the match but uh, i think it shouldn't happen <laughs> in any sport because people like to see how it uh, how it continues uh. yeah <laughs> I okay. think my last decision I could I could spend a little more time, but it looks too difficult for me to find the. You were lazy. Um, you were yeah. lazy, Markus. Just la admit it. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you had so yeah. much time. Yeah? Eight minutes left. It would have been a perfect yeah, time. No, but I, I'm sitting here, and I know I found no solution. I can go all the numbers, but uh, what's the goal now in that position? I had no idea, and this is um, I, so, I played. I played Jeopardy on that position. Rainer, since you have the, I mean, since you have the direction of the screen, uh, can't we just go uh, to the last position? 
I mean, uh, we can was... do whatever you guys want to do. We can go through yeah, the match I move mean, by this move. Is the freshest, the... Uh, this is the freshest, and this is what uh, what we are talking about now. Uh, yeah, whatever so... we whatever we like, right now. I I prefer rematch for that damage, but uh, we did it next time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's that's why I do. I like doing uh, live streams alone. Then I can talk for hours and go through every single move and until the last viewer has gone. That's that's my favorite street. But today I have through three guests, so I have to have, have to be polite and uh, do what you, you guys. You have to serve your party. You have to yeah, serve yeah, your party. <laughs> that's it. So uh, where do we start? We go in the last game, and where do we want me to run to, or where, where do we want to start? Our... Do, uh, no, the last positions. You know, like uh, when he was thinking, you know, which which blocking point to make seventeen. Aha! Uh -huh. You want where he? Yes. Yes, mess sure. the three two yeah. up. That's why you want to. Yeah. Okay. And uh, one thing I don't know if I can do it or if you can do it. I mean, I I just see the faces of all of us uh, uh, over the analyzers. Can you do it or do I have to do it or? Uh, how you does you should remove in the share screen. You should see the XG board. Yeah, but somehow there's uh, all these. Oh, maybe I can. This is me. Oh, okay, now I see it. There used to be all the faces uh, before. Now it's better. Yeah, it was funny that I get a chance in that position. I thought it was over, but there comes a lucky shot. Yeah, after some stupid rolls, I broke my prime right, and we go in that position. That shows how uh, funny can backgammon be sometimes. Yeah. So now you guys want to count all the numbers and go through all the rolls. I have no idea. I need help here. Uh, yeah, it was like a picture without colors. Uh, I don't know what to do. Yeah. So yeah. Maybe... Well, I mean, uh, easy. Uh, since we have the tool open, an easy thing uh, would be to highlight uh, both plays and look at the dice distribution. You know. Yeah. Okay. That's possible for Rainer. Do your magic, Rainer. I do the magic. <laughs> But I have to put it on another screen because it's on my other screen. Let me put it like that. And like this. Marcus, it's, it's same for me. Same for me. I'm out. I I do not know anything about this, this position. How yeah. to play the two? I don't know. Yeah. I realized it in a second that I have no idea. And uh, yeah. So Tobias, do the magic. Uh -huh. You did the magic, you know. I just do the, some talking. Yes, that's what I want to say. Yeah. It was a. How much was this mistake? It was a 50, 50, 51. 51. Okay. Yeah. So a Japanese triple blunder. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize that he hit me and I. I, uh, I realized I'm on the bar and I was wondering. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so uh, it looks like um, they're like. Um, I mean, the equity is bad anyhow, but uh, they're just a little bit less losing roles. Yeah, the difference are the seven roads, aren't they? Four, three, five, two, six, one. But. Uh huh. Okay. I have no idea. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same. Right, because when you hit, like, it's like a. a when with a seven, like, this is a kind of double shot, huh? Yeah. It's like a kind of double shot. Um... And the other hand, uh, it's, uh, it's like uh, only a, well, at least it's some extra shots. And the other hand, it's only uh, only yeah. 12 shots. So th this is a big difference. Ah, OK. This is a big difference. Also, um, why not also? Double two for sure is a difference. Double two. Uh, double two is like a big swing number. Yeah, you have double two and double four. Otherwise, it's double five that's blocked huh? directly. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, right, right. Okay, so double five and double four, they equalize each other, yeah? Okay. So we just take them out of the spectrum, yeah? But uh, double two, there's a extreme swing on double two. It's like a, a really good number uh, when you make the 18, yeah? Or it's a, it's a, it's a very positive number. And uh, on the other hand, it's... Uh, when you do the 17, it's like uh, yeah, it goes from green to red. You know that there, there's an uh, there's a special swing on this number. Yeah. Okay. There's okay. a special swing on this number. From double shot to a guy on the bar. Yeah. It's an interesting position, but we won't get more out of it uh, than we see here. Yeah. <laughs> I fear. Too. Yeah. Austin had some interesting decisions in his containment. I think he has much more difficult decisions in that game like uh, than myself. Uh, and it looks like he played it really well. Yeah. It looks like. Yeah, yeah. So then guide me. Where where should I go? So just from here, you know, continue uh, continue maybe backwards. Yeah. Backwards until you say stop. Yeah, like this is it. That was the last decision. Well. Just see where it's like interesting. This is also interesting, you know. It's a, I mean, for many of the, uh, probably not for the four of us, but um, uh, all the others might know, you know, that uh, uh, what you do in this position. With double three? Was, no, with four, five. Double three is four. So double but, three. Uh, yeah. yeah. I was just okay. confused. It's a uh, it's a good example, you know, what to do in these kind of positions, uh, this uh, these containment games, you know. So uh, you really don't need blots, uh, you don't need points. Yeah. Uh, you want to be diversified. You want everything active. Yeah. Totally outfield control was my idea here. So and uh, all all blots are placed really well. Yeah. So uh, I can't uh, go against any jokers or safe play safe something like. 13 8, uh, if he jumps out, uh, I have to hit him. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. because outfield control, I think uh, this is really good for the future. Yeah. 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 This is a well executed move. We see here in the deeper analysis, like it's all pick him with a hit. The good thing with the hit, there's no double sixes. Yeah. And yeah. you have the 4 1 that breaks the, the two point. Oh, also good spot, right? Yeah. So this is what to watch out always. Yeah, the super jokers. Yeah, plus also the turnarounds. You know what could lead to a turnaround, and uh, certainly what would turn turn the game around and make it much easier for Black if it is a second plot. Yeah, and it's uh, it's not so easy to tidy it up once it appears. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is a good That's spot, a good explanation, but uh, for all the other. For all the other cases, it's better to spread it out. So this is why it's so tight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's it's easy to hit with the th with the three um, from the six point, but um, I wouldn't have played this uh, five because I need this spare on the eight point to build the bar point. That's uh, very important. Or my task is to to build a full prime, um, and I need the checkers on. Yeah. The yeah, I see. I mean, the 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 bar is mainly interesting, you know, when the the checker is back on the uh, twenty four. Yeah, the further it's up, the less interesting the bar gets. You know, the the inner board points become like more value in this position. Mm -hmm. also. And the funny thing is that the four one breaks the two point anyway in both cases. Yeah, that's a very funny <laughs> remark. So now it's down to double six. <laughs> I sounded so so clever, and now it's just uh, anyway. <laughs> it sounded clever, you know. You just they didn't need to say anything further. So <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's better to keep your front door shut. Yeah. What is yeah, you know, as we say in Germany, silver is gold, and uh, talking is silence, or something like that. <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There was an interesting decision for Torsten, I think, when I broke my when I broke my board, uh, I was collapsed. Is there is there a redouble in uh, one of these positions? After his double, it was for sure a pass, yeah. Um, but is there a spot he can double just before? This is a move we did not like, even though I did not say anything. But Tobias mentioned it. We did not like the the ace. Ah. 
Yeah. But it seems the bots seem to like it. Yeah. Yeah, what I thought here is uh, I cannot uh, play totally safe, but uh, these extra shots here on the on the on the nine point give him time to bring his checker home. So and uh, it's also a spare, a free spare on the eight point. I can use it uh, for development. Uh, yeah, and um, this is why I didn't spread it too much. I would jump out maybe if it's possible, but there is no. Uh, useful one uh, so i use it uh, to give him not so much jokers yeah, yeah very mm -hmm. good point yeah. cool yeah. my feeling find it not my uh, not my brain I we know yeah. we know your strengths and weaknesses yeah <laughs> thanks yeah. <laughs> so yeah. further back until you shout stop i I think the most exciting game was the game with a 2.1 lead for me, 2 to 1. And um, yeah, there was uh, this um, these hitting contest and the, the um, containment game two times in the match, in the game. Okay. Yeah, maybe you know Torsten is right and just uh, skip fast forward to uh, to the score to one. Yeah. Two one. And we run until you shout stop. Are we in the right game? At least the score is right. Okay, then it should be. Yeah. Thorsten must remember better than than we do. Yeah, a little bit early double, uh, yes. but I think there is some pressure. Maybe uh, I know it's a little bit early, but uh, I think this was the double that we missed, Tobias. Or so. yeah, this could missed be realizing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were caught in uh, we were caught in conversation. Okay, slightly, maybe slightly early or not. Yeah, it's a little bit early or not, but uh, there is some pressure. I have some oh. good sequences. Uh, yeah. Um, I decided to, to double it. Uh, yeah. How or bad not? can it be at six away? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he didn't pass it, but uh, yeah. Have you seen a pass from Thorsten? Ever. So. Um, now he, there goes it lows. Yeah. Ah, okay. Should we stop yeah, here? I and like to play this? 11, 11 to 7. Yeah, I like this broken prime. But uh, how to play the uh, the ace? Because um, it does not duplicate uh, the sixes. So I have to play 11 to 10. And then uh, fives, ones, and sixes, and maybe fours uh, would hit. Yeah, the fives are also duplicated. I need the fives to to jump in. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but and it's it, not so clear. Five, one sixes and fours. It's yeah. yeah. Maybe too much. So, and uh, there is an uh, there is a um, great prize by winning a gammon. So uh, I reach the Crawford situation. So I hope for for something like a blitz against Hinke. Yeah, but it's it's a semi blitz, yeah, because I have the yeah. Sticker, uh, so yeah, I'm sure it's not not a totally complete game plan here. Uh, not yeah. the best way. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you remember these interesting positions? Uh, because actually, my this this matches away. Uh, I can't remember so much. Uh... Yes, uh, Marcus, Marcus, it's this, this game is the most ah, interesting okay, game okay, of the match. Okay, okay. Believe me, believe me, you will remember my double four from the bar, your double six. Now I remember, yeah. <laughs> but that was a big swing, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, 
yeah. from zero to hero and now you're there <laughs> yeah uh for 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 some seconds yeah for some seconds yeah. and then you vanished again like magic <laughs> <laughs> Bam. Boom, double four. <laughs> Not so bad, Mr. Lucky Looks. Yeah. yeah. Could be worse. Yeah. Like your double sixes. So, the next hmm. uncomfortable decision. Five two, five two. I don't like uh, the blots. I don't like. I don't uh, like any move. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't know how to play. Okay, um, I mean, we also saw that this is uh, that's usually not the game plan to give up points. Yeah, yeah when uh, and um, but uh, just stepping in a in a double shot, of course, is a duplication of fives. Yeah, um, duplication of fives. This is a very interesting move. It's quite exotic. Yeah. yeah. Problem yeah. is to double hit uh, spread so many blots here. Yeah. Uh, with a better board on my side, uh, it's really dangerous. And uh, so, uh, what you're saying is like uh, life after death. Like yeah. uh, after when you mm -hmm. double hit and uh, the the blot on the ace get hit, you know that how much life is there left? Yeah. And how big is? And uh, it looks like there's not just uh, a volunteer to the ten, and yeah. the shot gets hit. Yeah. There seems like there's uh, much more of a position left. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to make a priming move, and it's the only one available, even though it looks strange to give this double shot against this four-point board. Yeah. But... Well, also you lose uh, you lose a lot of dynamic. Uh, White loses a lot of dynamic with a blot on the ace. Yeah. And he certainly doesn't want to blitz. With all these men back, but look what can happen if uh, if I miss the hit, he can make a new blocking point. There are so there is a profit for that move. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And, um, it's not so dangerous that I hit on the one point. Uh, the, it's not a to totally blitz because he has his anchor. So uh, with this ten point, it will be not so easy to bring home my all my four checkers. Yeah, uh, and. Uh, yeah. He can anchor up again. Yeah. So yeah. it makes sense for me. Yeah. I'm not sure if I find the play, uh, but it makes sense. Yeah. It's not the right idea to 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 hit. Yeah, to hit right. Yeah. Yeah. Like like a few moves ago, it's the same, it's the same uh, mistake. And uh, I do not feel comfortable with this move, but uh, uh, I thought it was the best. Yeah, because the alternative is so <laughs> uh, <laughs> a little bit strange to say the least. The aggressive way, yeah. So five one double yeah. three. Okay, this makes it a little bit easier. Yeah, this one I wasn't sure about how to play six five. Okay, to hit on the one point, right? So yeah, yeah okay. Uh, the basic idea is that there's so much time because there are so many checkers around. So the twenty uh, to to free the guy from the twenty four is really not high up on the list. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, everybody sees that the the guy on the twenty four is placed way better on the twenty three, but uh, it has so much time, you know, to advance. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, yeah. He's not misplaced at this uh, at this time. Right, and there's uh, there's not really a prime, you know. The the one is as is not as good as the two, and the four is even better. So uh, there's no uh, necessity uh, to move this checker. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So two one six five. Ah uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure about that. Also, yeah. I don't want to make the 17 point because I have to broke it in the next roll when he jumps in. Yeah. So, uh, 
this is why I decided to make the 11 point. Yeah. Um, well, basically, this gains you outfield control. It's not like uh, it's not like he holds you on that point because if you leave, uh, he can't really hit from. He needs to hold the point himself. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. He needs to hold this point himself. This is one of his biggest assets is a bar point. So he's not going to hit you uh, when you leave uh, your anchor on the 17 again. Yeah. Okay. But for now, it's just a good place for the sixes. Yeah. Yeah, right. Okay. Six, four. Hmm. What is the alternative? Yeah, we see it. Ah, jump plus. out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But let's plus plus it. It's pretty close. Torben, was war? Ach, Torben. Thorsten, was war dein Gedanke? Thorsten, yeah, what are your um, thoughts? No, no, no thoughts at all. Uh, I've just played it. Okay. No. Um, so uh, it's 20 shots versus 16 shots. So it's only four extra shots. This is one interesting thing to mention about it. Yeah. Yeah, but two blots versus one blot. So it's important uh, not to fan too long. So, uh, right. It's always important not to fan too long. <laughs> uh, but on the other hand, I mean, your favorite to enter. And um, it's probably easier uh, to play this position uh, if you have like two men out. Yeah. yeah we have, but we have... uh, when I when we were watching, uh, it like uh, I would have made I would have made your move. But I have to admit the perception of um, of online playing is different than the perception over the board. But even if it's so close, whoever can spot uh, there's no numbers when you look on a position. Yeah. And they're good reasoning for both of them. Who can spot 1% different, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, there, there needs to be only a tiny little thing different, you know, and it uh, it leads to a different play. So uh, this can never be a reference, you know. You can find uh, uh, good points for both decisions, uh, but it's it's very, very tough to say uh, uh, how how to find the the play with the with the best equity yeah. you know yeah, sure. there will be uh, more um, crucial decisions in this case, absolutely so. i mean if this is your mm. worst mistake one percent you know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, go on yeah okay <laughs> So anything special about this one? No. Well, he hits and uh, there's nothing more to say. Yeah. Blots protecting blots, you know, I mean, like, uh, if he hits now from the 13, which we already said is an asset, you know, he will spread multiple blots and there will be a lot of reshots. So it's actually pretty safe to go out and gives you good control. And this is a direction anyhow, you know. And uh, he would prefer any how to to hit uh, from the twenty one than to hit from the thirteen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is why this move is so good. But uh, uh, again, it's not such a dramatic difference. Yeah. The position is uh, yeah doesn't allow a big mistake here. Ah, oh, thirty nine. Wow. Yeah, I Should mentioned I... six to five, but I hope for um that marcus or the bl the blood stuck behind my prime maybe i get a prime uh, and there is no prime um um uh, for for my checkers for my back checkers so i can uh, hope for maybe a prime prime my my own prime will better uh, working against two checkers back yeah, once again, I mean, uh, there, there are good arguments for both plays, but mm. it's close. Uh, it's really, it's not worth for a reference because if there's a tiny little thing different, yeah, uh, the done play is the right play. 
Okay. Five, four, six, three, double, five. Yeah, this was forced, more or less. Three, one. Uh huh. Okay, jump on. Yeah, this looks, uh, looks to me, it looks like logic to go to the 11, but it's again, it's very small. Yep. Yeah. Three, one, double five again. Wow, double five, 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 <laughs> two. Perfect. Yeah. So, and here you, we see a repeating pattern, like uh, the 9-8 in the last game, which Marcus geniusly did, you know? So, uh, um, it looks again like um, just covering uh, the opponent's outfield is better than leaving any any shots. Yeah. I would do yes. the same, I think. I yes. might work on the five point, um, so it's... Uh... This move makes sense for me. Yeah. Yeah, it's just six one you are adding. No? Yeah, you're uh, right. And yeah. sixes six. are good to jump to the outfield anyway, so it's even yeah. duplicated. Yeah, yeah. So Somehow. it's basically he gets a bigger share because the sequence starts uh, with like uh, six five possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only like in the uh, in the draw without the six five uh, when he gets on roll, then there's the one six. So, um, and, uh, and with a 5-6 game is probably, uh, the gain is very dramatic, yeah. yeah. In a this is an interesting insight. It's not a big mistake, but it's an interesting insight, you know, how the game develops, you know, and how to push these positions slowly and with patience. Mm. Yeah. I think in a normal middle game position, we would be happy to, to get an extra builder for just two shots. But this is not a middle game position. Yeah, it's very often an extra, very often an extra builder means like uh, uh, five extra pointing numbers. But here, hmm. an extra builder needs means only like uh, two more pointing numbers. Yeah, as you pointed it out. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm happy not to play Thorsten's position here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I am happy to play this position. I like containments and uh, you know it, Marcus, and yeah. um, it's fun for me to play these positions. I like it. I like these decisions. So, yeah, there's a lot of pressure in such positions. Uh, uh, it's not so easy for me to understand that. Uh, yeah. Any comments on the sure. six here? That's the reason why I like it. It seems like a repeating pattern again, you know, um, like uh, first activate all the stuck uh, potential builders, yeah, and then put them in place. Like uh, usually there is enough time left, yeah. This is not like you don't need to hurry, yeah, and missing out on a uh, on an important builder. Yeah. You, you cannot run this position in, in two roads normally, so, yeah, uh, to get the outfit. Exactly, this is a uh, good is, wording, yeah. Yeah, it's a long-term strategy here in general. Uh, yeah. yeah, and it's, uh, it's like in a later point uh, of the game, you know, it can be very right to leave an extra spare on the deep point because you don't have to break your point when you hit. Yeah. Like, uh, but this is not the character characteristic of this position, yeah. But here it makes sense to jump out from the from the twenty four point because yep. you don't want to leave the uh, twenty one anchor with the next uh, with the no, next. Not, that's not exactly. The reason. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not the reason. The reason is the connectivity uh, with the outfield. Um, yeah. Lots. So there are more roles to uh, establish a nine point. Okay. My my task is to build a prime. This is right. Yeah, yeah but that's why you connected then from 15 to 9, no? That's why your play looks so good. Yeah, this looking on the five point, yeah, uh, in the most part. You don't want to make an outfield point here. Yeah, these these 
plots are working for the five point in my mind. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, first of all, they have to work as many as possible. You know, this is uh, the key idea of it. Okay. Anyway. Okay, let's jump to the next decisions. Level four, I remember. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> four was really nice. <laughs> That's that's the reason why I played the six one oh, roll before to make this the really strong the, this five four. Um, I'm not sure if I played this. Yeah. What this one? Uh, this five four. Yeah. All the others are blunders here. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. not sure if if this is so clear for me. I, yeah. I, I, yeah, but I've what what you. do you want to play? Maybe I will hit on the three point. Uh, yeah. I've told you to leave the anchor in, in containments to have more checkers for the outfield control. Yeah. But a few weeks ago, Marcus. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I will blunder here. I will hit on the three point uh, when I saw this. I saw the results. I know it's now yeah, easy. But, but yeah. what problem do you are you solving if you hit on the three? I'm not sure. I, I don't want to that he can make the four point. Uh, yeah. Not clear for me. Yeah, yeah. To stay on the anchor, that's the idea. Yeah. I know. Okay. Outfield that's control it. is a uh, the big point here. Yeah. 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 That's the main, it. The main the key topic. Mm hmm Yeah. Easy decision, yeah. Super easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Super easy. Outfield, outfield, <laughs> control. <laughs> the rest is easy. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to play it. Ooh, uh, what a what a difference to a uh, four play. Yeah, it's super natural to play. 50, 24 this, to fifteen. This, no, it's... the stripped inner board points is the key in this position because he he comes in and have to have to move the other um, the other number and then uh, leave shots in his inner board. Yeah, but you are not far away from a prime with a five point, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and the outfield control. Yeah. One more, one more time. The... Double five is always good, right? So, but you also reduce is... the value of your nine points somehow if you make the three here, but that's not important, obviously. Maybe some tactical things that you break your board. You should go through the numbers again. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. uh, because you're totally stripped, so I guess you have more breaking numbers, and this will make the difference. Because normally this is the wrong idea, huh? but I guess it's a uh, tactical reason. So who is the fastest fastest counter here? Not my, not me. Yeah. Okay. So you have things like two four. Yeah, come on. I know. Oh, it's too boring. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's, that's, that's what I meant when I said in my in my single stream I would talk maybe 15 minutes about this and go through the numbers. But yeah. of course I have to Fortunately there is um the same situation in the next roll and I rolled six three one one more time. Yeah. And so now, now you learned it. <laughs> Very easy. Yeah, because you have no extra spare on the 24, Thorsten. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he wanted to keep the anchor, that's clear. Yeah. So, double two, clearing the four point. And th these positions are no double, are they? There, there, there aren't doubles for, for me at, at any point. So, uh, I, uh, I, uh, is it right to double in this? Um, position where I doubled. Make my okay. Maybe yeah, this was an easy double. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's only a two point board. Yeah. So, but but there is there are too many gammons. Um, yeah. Now here it's getting close. It's the first time that okay. it's not a blunder. Here we are getting closer. To double uh, it's the same idea with the four four five. Marcus here to, to leave the anchors to have more outfield control. Okay. So now you asked for I, it. Here you are close to I a double. Yeah. 
to block double six and now to unblock double six. <laughs> <laughs> Super easy. Mm. And now it's no double at this point when you run with the five three. When? Ah. Five, three. Yeah, now the next roll. Next no roll. Tobias pointed out that six two is missing. Ah, I can there remember. Is a double. There is a double. Okay. Aha. Okay. I was not sure. Definitely. Double uses and fan is perfect. Um, yeah, some market losers, but not so much. I'm not sure. I, I wouldn't double here. Yeah. Maybe hit. Yeah. Now it's a three point board, at least. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, no, that's easy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's it. Good point and to call it a day exciting. or anything else? Yeah. I think we got something out of it. <laughs> yes. Containment. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it would be interesting for me to follow the stream. Um... The, the chat, you want to say? Sorry. Or... Are you talking no, no. about the stream chat or? No, no. Later, I will the I will see the ah, stream. Ah, okay. Now we jump in. Uh, Where we were uh, laughing at you during I can't, the match. I can't follow. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm sure. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I will pay back, Rainer. Believe me. Yeah. Uh, uh -oh. um, no, it will be interesting for me uh, to follow how Toby uh, did it today, and uh, I hope that uh, that our. Um, Viewers enjoyed it, and uh, yeah. it will be a taste of much more, which will coming at our festival in Aachen. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks a lot, Toby, to be here. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, thank you, Marcus. Uh, and uh, we see us in Butla. Yeah, I'm sure uh, next week we go to. An I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. And uh, yeah, um, happy to be here next time for more stuff like this. And. Um, then we talk a, a bit more about what happened at our festival. Yeah. Tobias, good luck in, in the tournament. Thank you. Yeah, yeah good luck. Yeah. Go for another win. <laughs> no, no, maybe second place there. Uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah. Um, Why? Thorsten, you have a question. Thorsten, you told, you ask a question to Toby. No, not at all. I, I, I wish him luck for ah, the tournament. Okay. okay, so thank yeah. you. Yeah. So it's time to go. Yeah, right. And to stop. Yes. Bye bye. I will continue and go through the match again. No, just <laughs> okay. kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> See you tomorrow evening, Rainer. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe then the stream is finished. Ah. Uh, okay. When you go uh, <laughs> move by move and error by error. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what is the so final result? I missed it a little bit. Uh, which kind of PS we played? Uh, good, good kind. Okay, okay, kind. Uh, you ended up two point nine, and uh, Torsten ended up three point five. Okay, that's that's a fair deal after this damage. Thanks for all to watching <laughs> and uh, to be here, and uh, see you next time, guys. Yeah, thanks, Thank Torsten. Thanks, night. Tobias. Thanks, thanks, Marcos. Thank you. I know. See you guys. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, that's it for today. Uh, finally, some greetings to the chat. Uh, sorry if I have so many guests here. I have some kind of trouble to follow the chat as well, and I don't want to interrupt the, uh, my guests, or in this case, Tobias. So hi, hi Patrick, hi Herbert, hello Jürgen, hello John Lazaro, hello Ute, hello Marcel, hi Axel, hi Irma, hi Thomas, and hi Jürgen, the winner of the book from our last uh, stream. 
good to hear that you got the book and I hope you will enjoy it. Yeah, that's it for today. And uh, yeah, see you next time. I wish you all a good night and enjoy your life now. It will not get any better. Have fun. Bye bye. Blunder potential.